writing their team off early. Final term of the qualifying final. Essendon by 40 points. Collier Dawkins goes hunting the football with Long for company. Minot picks it up. He's immediately taken down in a tackle as well. well the mindset of the Essendon players, it does change a little bit. You don't continue just to play the way that you had. Because you're up by 40 points, you're kicking into the wind. So it's all about taking territory. Laguda, Nankervis. For the Tigers, it's just got to be full throttle attack here. Yeah, Pickett goes hunting it. Arts is there as well. Jake Long receives some praise at three-quarter time. Heppel gets it to Myers. That one will hold up in the breeze. Beckley will go against McIntosh. McIntosh with the fist. Poulahan couldn't control it. Pressure came from Menadju. McIntosh in as well. Essendon don't need to take any risks at all. Whereas Richmond need to continue to take the game on every chance they get. Let's find out about the messaging in the Richmond huddle. Ali, you were there at three-quarter time. What did Craig McRae have to say? He was pretty clear in his message that now is the time to be brave and they do want to change the angles of their movement by kicking it off the line and not just down the ground. So they'll look to move it through the corridor, switch the play and run, run in numbers and work together as a team. Thanks, Ali. They've been the best side in the VFL for the best part of three seasons, and they've got nothing to show for it. Mention it, 32 of 38 wins in the home and away season. And right now, a third, a fourth straight finals loss, throwing in the 2017 grand final to go with it as well. Pickett trying to turn the tide, just overcooks the kick, and Jake Long was lauded in the three-quarter time huddle by Dan Jordan. He continues his work to hit up Bagley, and now they can pick off some options, and look at them, Heppel in space again. Well, he's steady and shoot for five. He'll chip for Yunan and pick it. There's a one-man wrecking crew at the moment for the Tigers. He's gone back to half back. He kicked those two goals in the third quarter, but they want his drive and creativity off the half back line. So Thatcher mauled by Coleman Jones. Toby. It's Jack Ross. Quite control at the first time. Minot puts his body in, as does Heppel and Collier Dawkins. Heppel a little slow to get up. Gets this one. Pokes it through the traffic. Awkward for Egmolesi Smith, and he's immediately tackled. Begley just tries to rip it out of his arms. Yunan lurking, he's been dangerous. Mine it on the deck. Did he reef it back in? All up right on 50. Same again. And Kervis and Bowman. And Kervis the tap again. Heppel goes hunting it. Ross just sets upon him. Nash tries to release it. And Curvis does, it was good hands. He got it to Ross and finally they can clear the zone. Numbers down the line, two on two contest. Townsend at the front reported earlier on. Coleman Jones, what a pick up for the big man. Can only generate enough to get it to Zerk Thatcher. Chopped off Townsend. Ah, it's a rare look at it. Needs to finish. Pops it over the top. Butler fumbles and goals. Richmond gets a mirror in the lungs. The moment presents, seeing how it goes. Let's talk Heppel AFL again because he's doing everything that says how old is he? Not gonna look out of place and jump and play next year. 24. As a 25 year old. Same age as Gibbons. Is he just, is he just a bit slow? Contest. Yeah. Averaging 20 touches, five clearances, six tackles a game. So he'd have to play inside, you'd think, is he? Or pressure forward. Richmond swoop. Get a much needed goal here to start off this last quarter. Unselfish from Arts over the top. Butler's kicked a couple in the second half. They need more of that. Marching back to 34. Can the Tigers string together consecutive goals and start to build a bit of momentum? Nankervis, Hamble a little fierce there for Weller. And once again, it's Aaron Heppel. And what a game he's played. 22 possessions, four goals. He's been absolutely superb, hasn't he? He just continues to improve year to year and rise to the occasion. Plays his best footy in finals, which is a great attribute to have. Mine, it's been good. This is Menadju. Yours, 
He launches it inside 50 again for the Tigers. Townsend's gone forwards. Hitting it, speed was Arts. That was brilliant. Oh, what a goal. Two goals in 30 seconds. Arts instrumental in the first one and a clever snap on that occasion. How good was that? Yeah, and he's been unsighted this afternoon, just the six disposals. That just breathes a little bit of life back into this contest. If you're left, come back. Over 3,000 here at the Swinburne Centre today. And Richmond, all of a sudden, believe again. And Curvis to the outside, Ross. And those AFL listed legs take over. Coleman Jones, he's been colossal. Gets it on the third bite low down. Straight up. Thanks, boys. Oh, oh. Well, they, this is the one. They, they Ten metres, please. have belief. They've come from behind many times this year. They'll have superior fitness because of the amount of AFL listed players on the ground. And this is a massive moment. Five contested marks today for Callum Coleman-Jones. The question mark is his goal kicking. 9-15 in the VFL this season. Simply must put this on the platform six at Richmond Station and does. Oh, Three in a row, Tigers. And that was the one, Brownie, because suddenly now, forget everything that's happened in the past in this game, Seven minutes gone last quarter, 22 points. That's suddenly manageable. It's, it's three goals in a minute, basically, which is exactly what they needed. And it hasn't come about because Essendon have put the cue in the rack. It's just been... Nan the Curvis has been huge, The hasn't Tigers it? have finally started to win some clearances, win some contested footy, get the ball forward to their forwards one-on-one. -on -one. You've got to feel sorry for some of the forwards today because, yes, they've had low numbers, and I've been saying how a lot of them have been quiet, but they've been competing against so many Essendon players all afternoon. When you get it in there quick, one-on-one, -on -one, you give them a chance to beat their direct opponent. They've done it. Margin back to 22 points. Some big clearances to win here. Myers goes in to try and win it. Here's Heppel, tried to break free, couldn't, and gone. Momentum's a funny thing in football. And this qualifying final is alive once again. Time on, stay out. Suddenly the pressure's on Essendon. Weller. He'll launch it long. Put the defence under pressure once again. Oh, it's at the back of the contest. Couldn't take it cleanly. He's dropped an uncontested mark. Ball still alive. Myers to Tynan. Tynan a high ball. Morris across the front. And you'll get a free kick for a push. That ball cleared the pack. Townsend at the back wasn't expecting it. It's hit him in the chest. Off to Menadju. He takes the running shot, but he's dragged it left. But it is all Richmond right now. So from an Essendon perspective, if you're Dan Jordan, if you're the Essendon leaders, what are you saying right now? Composed possession. They've hardly been able to get their hands on the footy for the last three or four minutes. They've got a 21 point lead. 10 minutes gone in this last quarter. They just need to take some time off the clock. Sydney Stack watching on as Toby Nankervis is getting himself involved big time in board for Weller. He may have the leg to go the distance. He'll push it into the pocket. Coleman Jones and Troll are there in tandem. It bobbles around and eventually through from behind. Brownie, the golf statistically is contested ball and handballs. It's 12-4 handballs, 14-7 contested ball in the quarter. And that's been the area that Essendon have been able to match them for three quarters. Finally, they're just starting to get this game played on their terms. But nice. Tries to take some territory into the breeze. Now, Curvis again has been everywhere in this last term. Now maybe a chance for the Dons to get it and go. Unan sold his man into trouble. And Bagley's taken down, and once again, the Essendon pressure, the Richmond pressure rather, is going to see it. Go no, back inside 50. Once Steve Morris gets you in his sights, good luck getting out of that grip. Morris 
Kicks it long inside 50 once again. Big pack underneath this one. Hits the deck. Bombers have got numbers. McNeese needs an outlet target. Morris did well again. Bagley, a slight fumble. Now Curvis arrives to wrap him up. And once again, they won't let Essendon wriggle out of their own back half. Thanks, boys. Good stuff. Great effort from the skipper in Morris. First, the, he brushed past Heppel's Shepherd, the tackle. Then this spoil, shut down the exit kick. As much momentum as the Tigers have, it can be snuffed out by a quick goal here from Essendon. Hartley, Bagley, McKenna, fist from McIntosh towards the line. Diving hand pass, can the Bombers clear it? No, a oh, coat God's hanger. Out. Careful, straight up now. Straight up now, free kick, Essendon. Caulfield clears the throat of McKenna. I'm into it, mate, say that. Gee, he's worn something today, <laughs> Liam McKenna, hasn't he? <laughs> Welcome back to the VFL. Yeah, he yeah, hardly played Play for the last three months. First game since round nine. Copped a barrage. The tough head to go with it. WA native. Day pushed under the ball by McIntosh. His fist is good as a kick. Pickett is lightning and electric. Works his way through a couple. Can just get boot to ball. Put it into attack again. Townsend through hands. D stayed upright. He's got pressure though on him. Child can gather. Oh, oh Butler rushes oh. through. Reels through the tackle. Taps the accelerator. And here come 3 1. 2 1. The work from Pickett in the middle of the ground was superb. Got the ball in there. And like I mentioned just before, give your forge an opportunity to be able to compete one on one. Essendon have had opportunity all afternoon to drop numbers back numerical advantage but they competed it wasn't perfect and Dan Butler came flying through broke the tackle and made a certainty of it game on it's amazing this Richmond side looks so different when Arts and Butler are getting involved crumbing goals setting some up Inside 50s, 9-1 for the quarter. It has been all Richmond. They trailed by 40 points at the final change. The margin now, 14 points. We've played 12 minutes. Bombers need a steadier. Collier Dawkins put his head over it. Trim. Toby Ned Curvis, Richmond. Ned Curvis is having a massive last quarter. This will test their managed game time. If you leave him on to play the whole last quarter, he could be the difference. Oh, Nick! <laughs> Big man didn't know his limitations there. He took Heppel on, but fortunately, Caulfield was there. Great mark by Weller. He can get it and go. He launches inside 50. Choll at the back. It'll spill to the front. English comes through. Wonderful tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Pressure on the Essendon defence. That was David Myers with the goal saving tackle. You're up. Well, having Marvia Scholl behind you in a long ball, that'd be a nightmare for a defender. Butler off hands and snaps a goal! It's an eight point game! It's been a decade of dynasties and fairy tales. On a very special game day, we look back on all the magic moments, the dramas, the news stories, and when things went wrong. We count down the best marks Ow! and goals. That's what the crowd wanted! As well as the greatest games and the best players. Who will be number one? Game day, moments of the decade. The Tigers have kicked five goals in 13 minutes to come from 40 points down. It's an eight point game and suddenly you feel like they are the favourites. Oh, Butler delivering this crowd an absolute beauty again. A goal out of nothing. And the Richmond faithful that are halfway down Pun Road have turned around and they're Richmond. coming back. You should charge them re entry. There's more to come. Free kick Dan Curvis. Oh, uh, free kick Coleman Jones. Because Essendon had had numbers streaming into the, the defence to try and hold things up. They've now got to run back to the other end of the ground. So players repositioned. Players do a quick head count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm set. OK. Let's go. Free kick to Coleman Jones. Just pump this in as quick as possible. And somehow they generate uncontested possession from that stop play. Turner can send it deep. 
Confusion reigns in the Essendon defence. Suddenly, Chole, he's come to life, lost his footing in the shade. Richmond, five goals in nine minutes and four seconds. Dan Butler has three of them. He's got a career-high four goals at VFL level. And he's been one of the spark plugs for the Tigers. Things just starting to unravel for this discipline, this inside. At the back, it's Weller now. He misses margin at seven, but the clock is almost irrelevant right now. Richmond is scoring at will. Jake along with the kick in. Just have not been able to get it in their half of the ground and hold it there. They've hardly got the ball forward of centre. Essendon in this quarter. Long into the breeze. Zerk Thatcher's his man. Arriving late was Morris. McKenna tidied it up. Bounced it to Yunan. He's under some pressure. Gets away from Pickett. Look at Morris. Come like a missile across your screen. Kicks to the wing. Day couldn't hang on. Street looks to slap it to Collier Dawkins. Handball fed out behind Day. Egg Malesi Smith looks up. Wants an option at 50. Bombers have got numbers back. Important mark there to Long. Once again, he's got the same problem. How does he navigate his way through this Richmond zone? They go laterally. The switch goes to a contest. Arts across the front of Marshall. He goes to ground in the shade, but then gets up and takes Marshall down. Let's head down to Ali Blackburn. Ali, what a transformation in this game. Yeah, it's been amazing by Richmond this quarter. What they have been doing is making sure they've got a forward deep set up. That way they're utilising it for whenever the breeze is obviously picking up. They can bomb it long and always have a target there at every possible opportunity moving forward. Thanks, Ellie. 11 inside 50s to one in the quarter. Umpire almost set himself for the holding the ball call there. We're going to hop straight up, guys. Good tackle. Toby Nankervis with six touches, Thanks, two Mark. clearances in this final okay. quarter. Dan Butler. One, Three possessions, three goals. Richmond finishing like a freight train. Hocking. Back there to steady things up to Marshall. Begley v Morris. Morris goes the fists. And the Jack Dyer sound happy and Morris even sprints off the ground like he's in an Olympic 100 he metre final. Everything with intensity. He's full of adrenaline. It's been a day of upset so far. Williamstown defeat Footscray at the Witten Oval and Port Melbourne, despite the fact the game's at home, Geelong finished higher on the ladder and the Cats might be heading for a quick exit in the VFL finals. Three massive upsets if the Bombers can hang on. Heppel goes inside 50. Here's their chance. Day and Garthwaite goes to ground. Garthwaite gets him. You're not going to ever break that tackle from Ryan Garthwaite. He's just he's got leg speed to go with the, the quick small small forwards. He's got the, the height and reach to play tall. So the Tigers have closed the gap to seven points. This next one's the goal they're looking for to really make it just anybody's game. Right now the Bombers still sit on a lead heading towards time on. Long's kick is out on the full. And Camden McIntosh will have it. He kicks towards half forward. It's punched forward by Moore. Pickett goes to ground. It's fed backwards to English. He keeps it alive. Slick hands Menadieu. Just slightly dragged off his kick. Bounces inside 50. Naish runs into Myers. Taken down and gone. A big stop for the Bombers. They've stemmed the bleeding ever so slightly. Five minutes without a goal here, the Tigers. David Myers, his final season as a bomber. His seventh touch of this final quarter. He's kicked to no one. It's almost a kick for touch rugby style. Somehow it hugs the line. Markov made a mess of it. Bundled over the line and out. What a final quarter from the Tigers. 5-3 to nothing. They were 40 points off the Bombers at three-quarter time. You couldn't have envisaged this. They'd struggled to kick a goal all afternoon. But they've been ruthlessly efficient. 41 possessions, just five more than Essendon, have generated 12 inside 50s, eight scoring shots, five goals. Minored on hands and knees. Myers kick smothered. Street can extract it and send it down the line. Through the back picket. What a second half he's had. Chole tried to toss it over the top. It'll beat Marshall over the line and out. Big stop for the Bombers. There's Gucci more to come. We're on the eve of quarter time. What a way to kick off the VFL final series.
if Chol got that handball over the top, they had overlap, they were away. Seguccioni streaking across and just getting a hand on it was crucial. Coleman Jones to go against Bowman. Pitches in front of both. Nicely done by Minot. Almost dragged down by Collier Dawkins. Kicks to a two on two. Garthwaite gave the nudge. Umpire says it's legal. It's Mark paid. And once again, the Bombers on the back foot. That ball's going to be launched back inside 50 once again by Garthwaite. Right to the 50. Over the top was Guccione and he thumped it to the line. So each of the first three quarters went well in excess of 30 minutes, closer to 35. So still plenty of time left, despite the fact we're entering time on in the final term. Bombers clinging to a seven-point lead. A spot in the preliminary final is up for grabs as Bowman goes at it against Chol. Can't get it free. Laguda, lucky to get a total, but only as far as Street. The ball is living in Richmond's half. Street sends it into orbit. Zerk Thatcher climbed almost highest, couldn't gather. Long at the fall. Elected to take on Moore, and that was a horrible decision. Callum Moore had very little influence today. Three disposals, Nudge. Turns 23 on Tuesday. Only returned from an ankle injury in round 19 against the Blues. And he's finished the season really strongly. 10-8 for the year. Must kick this. There was a superb tackle. Jake Long tried to get the kick away. Couldn't. Immediately set upon from Moore, who's been really well held. But... This could be the most important kick of the game. There's a point the difference in the qualifying final. If you continue to get the ball inside your Ford 50, the defenders are under so much pressure and you create opportunities. And while Moore can't get out, on the lead and take his marks. He's manufactured a goal there with his defensive work rate. We've seen some sensational goals. Arts, Butler. Butler again. And on that occasion, Callum Moore with the set shot. Inside 50s this quarter, 14 to two. Richmond have kicked six. They've kicked six three to no score. And a 40-point lead for Essendon has become a one-point lead. 22 and a half minutes gone, final term. And they win it again through Mavuela off the hands of the ruck contest and inside 50. And Marbior Chol has got the chance to go back and put Richmond in front. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This has been some sort of turnaround. Six goals, three. 15 inside 50s. Nankervis went into the ruck for the... Start of this term and just change the game. 15 gone. 15. 15 gone now. Thanks, boys. He's just kicked two. Out, He's been a great finisher all year. He's kicked 19 9. This, the biggest kick of his season to date. To put the Tigers in front. Hits the post oh. and scores a level. Essendon have led this one for all 122 minutes so far. But we're back where we started. What a ride it's been to get here. McNeese takes as much ground as he can. Superb Mark Zerk Thatcher just ahead of the footy to provide them with something. Can they get him behind Richmond's transition here? It's slow from the Bombers. It's nervy. Zerk Thatcher took on Naish. Fizz from Caulfield, he and Egmolesi Smith perhaps could have marked. Well, the energy from Richmond is there. The long kick down the line by Essendon, and it's two Richmond defenders first to the contest, spoiling it across the line. Six unanswered goals from the Tigers in this final quarter. If you're Essendon, you just need to start winning the clearances again. And then Curvis feels like he's played more than was planned, but sometimes that has these things go, Brownie, that they may have just said, you're going well, keep going. Let the boy play. I'm sure he'll want to. He hasn't played much footy the last three months. Clutch He'd be loving being out there in finals time. Richmond players sitting on the fence of the players race there, watching on nervously. Myers, quick little kick forward. 
Let go. Who's going to own the big Tony moments here? Union takes the mark. Then we wanted to pass it off. There's Move still a kick away at least. Yours. Houlihan went skyward. Richmond at the drop. Nash, Ross, wriggles through the tackle. Releases by hand. Weller under pressure, double grabs. Oh, massive call! Mark is here. Yeah, it was the Mav Weller just handled towards the boundary line. The Essendon fans will walk us in front of the umpire. The fist from Garthwaite at the full aylet. What are his options? Myers, Punch kick smothered. A rare entry into attack here for the Bombers. Weller goes hunting the football. Quick kick forward inside 50. McIntosh couldn't complete the mark. It's still alive. Scooped out. Heppel tried to spin through the tackle. Play on the call. Aylett, he's run down. Thumping hit. Ran into two Tigers. It's still alive. Long. Next. In line. Laguda delivers inside 50. Slapped away from McIntosh. Frenetic finals football. High kick in the air. It's not 15. Garthwaite punched away by Yunan. Spills to Caulfield. He flips a handball over the top. Yunan puts more pressure on. It's still there for the Tigers. Oh, and you, finally they get it outside 50. You don't reckon these boys know what's at stake. Guccione to send it back. It's going to drop short for Aylett. He's got it again. Toby two, fly up! Wheels and goes. Hands it off. Tynan needs an option inside 50. What's he got? It spills. Bagley has a look. Steps inside. Goes for goal. Oh, it's an absolute beauty! Out of nowhere. He's announced his retirement during the week and what's been a sensational career for the Essendon Footy Club. Finds a way, sells some candy, throws it on the right boot. Difficult shot and gives him the go-ahead goal. That is brilliant from the veteran. Every moment in that passage of play, Jace, was a great call by you. 90 seconds of frenetic, intense football. So Mark Bagley with two. This Johnny come lately forward that he is. Grafted a career as a defender, first in the VFL at Frankston. 134 AFL games, 74 today at VFL level. That was his 34th and undoubtedly most important and best VFL goal. Have Richmond got one more surge in them? And Curvis bullocks his way free, pick it out the front of the clearance and rushes free. Kicks not the best, it tumbles its way through all sorts of hands. Troll Athletic, wanting arts. He can't get free, stays upright but stopped eventually. Doesn't the psychology of the game just change? Does now. Minute by minute, suddenly it's Essendon back in front and Richmond a little deflated. Absolutely, and they hadn't looked like kicking a goal this whole quarter and a little bit of... Individual brilliance from Mark Bagley. This is a man they don't want trotting to the bench for a blood rule. Jake Arts, see the gash over his right eye there. He would be the man they want lurking around this forward 50 stoppage that's about to be created. So seven goals so far in the final quarter. As we mentioned before, terms have gone 30, 35 and 34. They've been long quarters. What is it with these two teams? Every single time we've seen them play over the last four, it's come down to the absolute wire. The pulsating semi-final of Northport last year repeated again. Pickett for his third against the boundary. Surely not misses. Important point. Ball back into the hands of the Bombers, but a chance for Richmond to win it back and get the lead. And the defensive zone needs to be spot on here for this kick in. It's too early, you would think, for Essendon to try and play for time. They just need to get the ball out of their defensive half. Again, McNeish comes to the punt road side of the ground. Menadju underneath a good effort from that day to get across and get it to the line. It was all he needed to do. Been a quiet day at the office, but every single contest critical now. Essendon by 40 points at three quarter time. Tigers came storming back, leveled the scores, haven't yet got in front. Nan Kerbis into the path of Pickett. Both have been enormous in this last quarter, as has Heppel all day. Yeah, I wouldn't be leaving Pickett's side at the moment. He looks like he could be the guy from a stoppage that does something. He's had eight in the last quarter. Nan Curvis and Weller seven apiece. So good around the clearances, getting it forward time and time again for the Tigers.
Again, Nan Curvis to pick it was the play. Collier Dawkins there as well. Pickett goes hunting once again. Bagley takes on one, takes on two. Quick release. Egmalesi Smith. He tries to feed it through. High kick inside 50 towards the pocket. Bombers there in numbers, and Zerk Thatcher smashes it to the line. Brandon Zerk Thatcher got an AFL debut in recent weeks. What can he do here to stop this Richmond thrust? Six goals to one in the final quarter. Can they find something here, the Tigers? Nankervis flips it down. What have they got? Into space. Turner, Collier Dawkins flips a boot at it. Surely not. A point. Margin at four. We're through 30 and a half minutes of one of the great VFL finals. McNeese again. What a job he's had in the last quarter to do the kick-ins. Time and time again, just looking for something. And again, he'll take that same play long to the back flank. Nan Curvis is there waiting for it once again. Bagley puts his body on the line. McIntosh hunts it at ground level, feeds it out. Menadju tries to take some territory. And Long stands tall once again, looks to be cramping up. Been good again today, Jake Long. Bombers happy to slow the tempo. High ball, it'll hang in the breeze. Bagley important, got it to ground. And Union will take it. It was just a little bit clumsy there from Caulfield. Are you getting your right to take kick or not? You right? Time's off. Take the time. You just need to right? kick this long down the line as close to the boundary line as possible. Play on. Me. And that's what he does. Union short to Heppel. So now they go into conservation mode. Absolutely. 32 minutes nearly completed. You've got possession of the football. Play on. The Tigers. Richmond free kick, oh. off the ball, down went Nan Curvis. I think it was against McKenna. And suddenly the Tigers have got it. They'll go quickly inside 50. Egmalesi Smith off the hands of the contest. Front and centre is Turner. Quick handball back. Menadju wants his right boot. Gets through Yunan. Straightens up to the top of the square. And it's marked by Zerk Thatcher. Huge mark from Zerk Thatcher. Clock at 32, margin four. Essendon holding on to this one. Nan Curvis brought it to the front. Heppel only as far as Egmalesi Smith. Kicks the required distance. Huge fist over the top. Guccione having some of Essendon's young defenders come up big today. Zerk Thatcher, Day, Natty D. Guccione on occasions in this last quarter has been big. This tap needs to go over the back into some space. Get one of the dangerous Richmond Fords doing a little wrap around and a block. Menachu trying to get through it. Worked its way into the hands of Dan Curvis. He was taken high. Oh, wow. From the ruck Just contest. The big Nank can go back and give Richmond the lead for the first time this afternoon. 130 minutes plus of football. Essendon have led for just about all of it. We were tied early, we've been tied late. And Toby Nankervis, his season cut in half virtually by adductor issues and soreness in the last few weeks. Had a handful of VFL games two thirds of the way through the season. This is meant to be a tune up. There's bigger things on the line. Nankervis starts it right, moves it left. He's got it! And gets it home, the big man! Toby time, Tiger time at the Swinburne Centre. Richmond hit the ton and hit the front. Just that ruck contest. Hartley was the man. Nankervis got front position, took it out of the ruck, and the hand did go up around the shoulder. The free kick was there. And the big Nank with everything on the line goes back and allows the wind to do what it's done all afternoon. People in the crowd turning to us and saying, how long? We don't know, it's we, a count up clock. We don't know either. One of the great VFL comebacks. They were gone at three quarter time. Richmond, warning, no free kick. Yeah, you're in now. Yep. Okay. Hold Marlon. So the Tigers get a 6-6-6 warning. Hang on, are we set? Kurdo, set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
five six on set. Yeah, I'm okay now, mate. Yep, zone it up. We approach the 35 minute mark. Is there time for the Bombers to get one back? Myers goes hunting it, busting off the square was McNeese. Kicks to half forward, it's 0-1! The Tigers have